Hello viewers, welcome to our Timeless Sunset Tarot. Now this is a general reading and it is open to all zodiac signs. So just take what resonates with you. It is also timeless so anytime you find yourself watching this video, there might be a message here for you. Now let's try to see what is the main energy at the end of the day. Okay, we have here the Five of Pentacles. Obstacles. You wanted to move forward, but there are some obstacles along the way. You couldn't find the right path towards your goal. And uh, you feel a little bit vulnerable. For some of you, you feel a little bit vulnerable or a little bit um, insecure because of the situation of closed doors but you haven't given up you're still looking for another path to be able to enter or to be able to achieve your goal so i guess the word patience the word patience comes right now i guess patience is very important at this time you just need to hold on and yes to need to look around sometimes when there's a closed door all you need to do is to go about looking for other possibilities not to immediately give up on the cause but to go around and look for open doors there is that sense of vulnerability, maybe even a, a sense of a time element, you know. Uh, there are certain situations where time element is very important. But when you look at our life's history, many of those things that have deadlines makes us feel anxious when we are not able to attain them immediately. But there comes a point when we had to let go. And before we know it, that situation gets solved. Like for example, certain bills that need to be paid at the end of the month. And we worry about a lot about those things. But then when the last moment comes, we, in one way or another, that bill gets paid. Or in one way or another, the problem, the problem gets solved. Oftentimes, we have those monthly deadlines that gives us anxieties. But oftentimes when that time, before the time comes or at the moment that such a situation comes, the problem gets solved. And so somehow the card is telling us, just be patient and just be resourceful. Try to find other ways. Somehow the card is encouraging us to be resourceful, be innovative, and not to give up, even when we feel vulnerable in the situation. This too will pass. Now let's try to see how this will further unfold. Okay, if you are patient enough, the gift will come. And you will be a cup that is overflowing. Oftentimes it's like that also. When we find ourselves in a helpless situation, that's when we appreciate more the assistance coming from the divine. And our cup overflows. Situations like this make us realize that we truly are not alone and we truly are loved. If we were able to survive all these years, it's because of those difficult moments we always see the divine coming to the rescue. So, don't give up right now. If you are in a tight spot, just continue to find other ways. And don't forget to ask help. You don't have to handle the problem alone. You can always say to the divine, I need help. Please solve it for me. I'll do my part. So do your part, 
and the rest entrust to the divine and the divine will fill up your cup and you'll be a cup that is overflowing and the joy that you will experience will not affect only you but also those around you so it's like yeah the word uh, the phrase have faith trust these two will pass things will get better the divine will give you whatever you need in fact it will be much much more than you need you will be a cup that is overflowing now what is the advice of the universe for you okay austerity yeah maybe we need to let go of certain comforts that we might have had before at least at this moment uh, Simplicity, the word simplicity comes. Just live life simply. Don't be too extravagant at this time when you look at the emperor card. He's a little bit austere. Not much furnishings. Yeah. But maybe also you need to put nature a little bit into your environment. You see here, it's devoid of nature. It's devoid of life maybe just putting a pot of plant near you or near your working table or on your working table might help also uh, so the word austerity comes at this time simplicity just live simply at this moment at this moment of maybe limited resources <clears throat> at this moment of uh, maybe challenges the, the important thing is, yeah, just be simple. Uh, austerity, the word austerity comes. I don't know why, but the word austerity keeps coming at this moment. So, at this moment, just, yeah, don't be too extravagant, just be simple. This too will pass, things will get better. Now, uh, here there is also this um, having good boundaries, maybe learning to say no also to you know how it is sometimes when there are certain events or certain situations that you know will drain you of your resources at this moment of limited resources maybe you need to beg off from certain things so that you'll have enough time to recover uh, learning to discern when to say no and uh, yeah learning to discern what are the things that you can let go for right now so that you can tide over to the reception of the gift and assistance coming from the divine so just be patient and also live life simply at this time now let's go to insights at twilight Now, the obstacles need not have to be only financial. There are other obstacles that you might be encountering at this time. Just work on it, be patient, and believe that sooner or later, assistance will come at the time of the divine. Sometimes there is a certain timing also, and uh, we need to be patient. It's also a training for us. A training of trust, a training of faith um, straddling worlds this is very interesting <clears throat> it's like here you see here uh, a person with wings going back and forth between the exterior realm and the inner realm at this time when things are difficult they say what we do in the inner realm affects what we do in the exterior realm so <clears throat> If you feel there is a lack of abundance in the exterior realm, then think of abundant things in your inner realm. Work on your inner realm. Make yourself positive <clears throat> so that it will overflow to your exterior realm and the positivity will draw also positive things towards you. When <clears throat> you simplify your inner realm, you can also simplify your outer realm. Um, straddling both words, 
changing your inner realm to make your outer realm also much better. Also go into your inner realm to ask for assistance. The important thing here is you work on both realms. As you try to make things, as you try to adapt to the exterior realm, change also things in your interior realm, you can manifest also the things that you want to happen in the exterior realm by changing your outlook in your inner realm. When you are at peace in your inner realm, when you are thankful of the little things, little as they are, that you receive each day, with that kind of thankful spirituality, it means you recognize that good things are coming your way. Sooner or later, a small trickle grows to something bigger, maybe even a waterfall of good things. Now, falling angel, spiritual narcolepsy. I have this feeling that maybe, yes, you might have been too involved in the exterior realm, that you have neglected your inner realm. Falling angel makes me think, yeah, an angel flying, already soaring in the spiritual realm. It's like you also, an angelic being maybe, uh, somebody who is already soaring in their spiritual journey, but for one way or in one way or another, you might, for some of you, you might have neglected your spiritual odyssey. Maybe you need to give attention to your spiritual odyssey and maybe that's the only thing that you need to do. And when that disposition or that situation within changes, the exterior realm would also respond in a positive way. So for some of you, because when you look, when you look at these cards, straddling, straddling worlds and falling angel, it's as if the cards are asking you to give attention to your inner journeys. Maybe you have neglected, for some of you, maybe you've ne you have neglected working on your inner realm. More time for solitude, more time for silence, more time to strengthen your relationship with your inner self, with the divine, with your guides. Maybe you need to give attention to that at this time. Maybe for some of you, you've neglected it. And so the exterior environment affects you more profoundly at this time. For some of you, the cards are asking you to reconnect with the divine and allow the divine to help you in this situation. Maybe your life has become so complex you forget to give attention already to your inner realm. The simplicity, the solitude, learning to be receptive again, receptive again to your inner realm might also be the answer to this challenging moment. Well, that's it for today. I hope you were able to benefit from our reading. Thank you for the likes and comments you've given to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. I hope to see you again soon. Until that time, may God continue to bless your ways.